you have to believe in yourself. You have to do your version of road work, which could be going to work earlier. The same principles that, that it require for me to be a champion, it's applicable in everyday life. And my philosophy is called power, which is prepare, overcome, win every round. It's here and it's here. To make sure you have all the information. Because when I do my road work, my road work is running four or five miles, but my road work is also checking out and knowing your weak points and strong points. It's all those things that makes a winner. Muhammad Ali gave me some advice many, many years ago. He said, Ray, uh, be your own man, but control your own legacy and sign your own checks. I didn't understand what he was talking about, but I also wanted to be different than most fighters, unfortunately, who have fallen on the wayside. And that was to create my own legacy and maintain. And I was able to do that because I had good people around me. I had good people who were smart, who had morals, who didn't take advantage of, of me as a young kid, a young teenager, a young fighter. So I realized this over a period of time. So I had to build Goggins. And in that process, I had to go back to that mental lab. And that mental lab is at scratch. That mental lab is in that trained humility. And so that's where I get better. I get better when I'm digging holes in the ground, when I'm waking up early knowing I don't have to do these things. That's where I get better. They think it's a permanent fix. They think it's something that, that is a constant. They think that maybe once I get it, I'm gonna hold on to it. Nothing is permanent. Nothing is permanent. And a lot of times you have to learn to perform without motivation. You have to learn to perform without purpose. You have to learn to perform a lot of different things. And that's what people think. They think I need to have this motivation to work out, to study, to be better. So if they don't have it, they just don't do it. And that's where you fail. You have to learn to train your mind well beyond motivation. If you have motivation, that's great. That's some kindling to the fire. All it takes is a little bit of a spark and you can burn the whole forest up. But motivation, you have to learn to exist without it. You have to be your best self when you're least motivated. And that's the tricky part about all that. Motivation is just a word. You have to have these different things in your mind on where you want to go and know that motivation is not going to get me there because I'm not going to always be motivated. Learn to pick yourself up on your own. You got to be your own coach. You got to get to the point where you get allergic to average. You don't think average. You don't perform average. Listen to me. When I tell you the success and average have absolutely nothing to do with each other. That's what I'm telling you. Your boss can't stand average. Your coach can't stand average. Your teacher can't stand average. Your spouse, listen to me. Your mama might put up with it. Your daddy might put up with it. But listen to me very closely. Nobody really likes average because average attracts average. You can't help it that you suffer from ambition. You can't help it that you suffer from trying to be great. You can't help it that you suffer from trying to go to the next plateau. You can't help it that every fiber of your being, every fiber of your existence wants to win. You can't help it that you suffer from a severe case of aspiration, purpose, and dream chasing. That's the exact reason why you keep racing because you're trying to catch up to your dreams. What's the greatest thing that you will ever do? It's becoming the person that you're truly capable of becoming. Your future depends on what you do today. The best way to predict your future is for you to create it. Lifestyle change, then what we see in our head will become our reality. When you shift your paradigm, when you shift your thinking, only then, what you see in your head, you will hold in your head. A great life, it doesn't happen by chance. It happens by design. Oh, it's not gonna be easy to do today what so many won't do. 
And I promise the future you will love you for it. <laughs>